Oof. Oh wait, my mic's still on. <laughs> Oops. All right, hello, hi, hi, hello. Welcome to another stream. Um, today we're here with the just chatting because uh, this is the early stream. I just got home from school. Uh, usually I do wait a little bit before I do anything crazy like this, but um, you know, today I didn't. Today I didn't. I've had a little bit of a. <laughs> 
Spencer Bunny the right word? I have a bit of tea, perhaps, would suffice. I do have a little bit of tea. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys are ready for it. Uh, you know, if you're new here, just clicking on my stream. Uh, be sure to say hi. You know, I'm friendly. I don't bite. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I said that, but um, first five minutes of stream, you know, I'm finally here. And we are trying to hit that uh, 500 goal, so... You know, why don't I just call out people that I don't know if they're here or not? But yeah, anyways... So... I did not stream Tuesday. Oh, not, no, no, Tuesday's not on the schedule. Um, I didn't stream Wednesday. And I didn't stream... Uh... Am I supposed to be streaming today? Is this a normal... This is a normal streaming day for me. Oh. I forgot about that. Getting schedules confused. Okay, so this is a normal streaming day. I am supposed to stream today, but uh, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I thought it was Friday for some reason. <laughs> me getting my things confused. Tomorrow's December 1st, which is really exciting. Hopefully we can plan some sort of Christmas thing uh, together, but uh, yeah. So I didn't actually miss that much. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better that I mi didn't miss two streams. Wait, did I? Wait, why did I say Tuesday? I don't stream on- What am I saying? What am I saying to the Discord sir? What am I saying, guys? I don't stream- I don't stream on Tuesday. What am I saying? I'm typing that. Anyways, join! <laughs> oh, it's whatever. It's whatever. Um, that's a little silly goofy, but it's okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit early, but that is because I do have a bit of plans for tonight. Um, occasionally I do like to have, like, uh, usually on, like, Monday or Tuesday is when I would, like, have, I suppose, some kind of, I would, I would, like, hang out with my friends, you know, it's a good, it's a good thing for me, but, dude, this new schedule is like, thrown me off. Because <laughs> usually I would stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then, uh, 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 wait, would I stream Friday? Yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Usually I would stream that much, but now it's 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 just not that much, um, which is really good for me. It's only four times a week, but it's kind of spread out, so then I forget. Um, but it doesn't make me feel better that uh, it's only one day. I did get myself back on schedule, you know. <laughs> but yeah, Wednesday was an important birthday to me. It was this person that I have feelings for's birthday. So naturally, I, of course, gave the gift. It was very well appreciated. Um, I did end up writing the letter. Um, I didn't write it on some like card or something because I've got like this thing with cards. Um, really with notebooks too. Like whenever I get a new notebook, my immediate instinct or like a sketchbook or anything, it, it's like if something looks really nice, then I immediately want to like put the nicest things in it, like the most formatted, grammatically correct you know just like i'm kind of a perfectionist like that but then i've got to say you know like you know i kind of gotta like go at it with an oh well attitude and that's just kind of like it's a minor struggle with getting a new one like it's not really that big of a problem it just takes me a second to be like hey it's fine you can get another one you know it just takes me a second because I want to fill it with important things. So I still have like, I try to keep empty sketchbooks around because just in case I think of that like really good idea for one, you know? Um, because I do think of good ideas sometimes. Sometimes the brain is flowing. But right now the brain is flowing in a whole different direction because I've got feelings for someone. At this point, it's... We've gotten pretty close. Um, I didn't end up playing Minecraft with them. That's why I was gone. I was playing Minecraft. I, I was kind of 
doing what I was supposed to do. I was playing video games and talking to people. It would actually be really cool to maybe do a collab stream at some point. But I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of it's kind of out there. You know, usually I don't bring like IRL people on here. Um, one for safety reasons and I mean, that's really all I need to say, but uh, two, just because it's kind of awkward. Um, I have before, but you know. And when I have, I don't usually explicitly say. At least I'm not. I'm not gonna try to say that someone is explicitly an IRL friend if they are. I, I would rather say that they're just a friend that I know. Um, you know, just for safety. But yeah, that, that's kind of what I try to do. Not that I have many to show, anyways. You're not getting the juicy stuff, but. Yeah, <clears throat> so that may happen if, um, I don't know if dating's gonna happen or anything, but it may, like, honestly, because, like, it's gone really well so far, thus far, and I, I, I don't know, like, if it's reciprocated, like that's the big issue that's pulling me back from just like asking them out. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of what's going on. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's definitely something. That's for sure. Crazy. Um, yeah, I've tried to have been more like with my crushes over the years. I've tried to have been like just better at it as I go like of course I in my position I'm kind of like stuck between two brick walls right now where one is telling me like oh yeah you're ready like you're ready for that but then the other one's like but also you're so young you know <laughs> um because I I you know I'm still like teenager um so there is always that uh, not that, like, being legally an adult would really reassure me, but, like, I just feel like a lot of people start, like, dating in their 20s, and that's, like, their lifelong relationship. Which, it could work out between us. I just, I don't know. Like, I've got to test the waters, lots of stuff that needs to be said, and... We'll see. Maybe... I will have a partner, who knows. But uh, yeah, that's pretty exciting for me. Anyways, it's um, I hugged. I did give a hug, which was cool. Um, learned about some boundaries. Like, yeah, it's um, it's been past the breach of like having a crush and then, you know, like falling in love. I feel like it's love at this point, you know, but I'm still going to say it as a crush because it hasn't evolved into anything. You know, as I said, it's it, it's it's not that unlikely that it's not reciprocating yet, but I don't know. We let it drizzle. We let it drizzle. We see how things work. This was a t this is like a totally different tone from like the other one like now i have a bit of more certainty about where things are going which is really nice because at first i was just like <laughs> that was me literally me <laughs> but now it's like chilled you know like everything's it's going it's working things are happening guys guys you gotta be patient it's like actually crazy but if someone asks you out and you're not ready wait it out like y you don't have to be like super jerky about it you know like you don't have to be like um i don't know some people just say some like ridiculous things like i'm not ready why would you ask that <laughs> you know don't be like aggressive with it i feel like uh you just have to kind of take a more mature perspective on it and be like you know it's honestly you know like how they say to with marriage um how like you gotta like test it out to see if the uh uh the wife or husband would be cool with it 
you know like you got to talk about it with each other so that's basically what you do but you do in dating and i recently figured that out and that's why you like hint towards it you've got to be really forward with your feelings otherwise people are just going to see it as like a friendship thing um especially if you do like use like kind of we're friends to cover up your feelings you've got to also have that same baseline of like but we could also be more and to do that you have to ask romance based questions like uh boundaries is a really simple one because that is also platonic um technically you can an you can ask romance questions and you can make them pretty platonic like you can ask your friends romance questions and that doesn't necessarily mean anything but if someone does ask you romance questions it's kind of a sign that they might be interested in you of course it depends on the context and like if it was just a thing that came up in conversation or if it's like the person's like interested in knowing more about your romance because that's because they would only really be interested I mean, there's a couple reasons why, but one of the reasons would be that they have feelings for you, so. That is my little psychology of what we've learned here. And I think younger self would be very proud of me, so, you know. Because the younger self of me has had a, 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 like a windigo of crushes that have just hit me in the face. So it's nice to have something that's like, um that could go somewhere but also is just like you know it's nicer to have like uh because like i had feelings for this person like uh not the person but like i had a uh, i had feelings for this other person last year uh which was a big stepping stone into this one and so i do feel like if this one doesn't work out i'm i'm getting a little bit closer I hope this one works out because it's like there's a lot of things that um I just like about this person of course of course I hope it works out I always wish for the best but yeah uh just gotta take it slow not too slow though let that be said um but yeah once I made kind of like kind of my intentions known um it was good you know and I think the best approach is to go for, like, romance could come out of this, but also, we could also have a banger friendship, you know? That's probably the best viewpoint, I think. If you're considering, like, someone, and you want to be serious and official and all that, um, probably the best. But yeah, I don't know. And then it's you know, it's so inconvenient because it's the last year of high school, but <laughs> you know, high school romance, baby, I got it. <laughs> I'm actually experiencing it. So that's, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I learned a lot through high school. Um, it was a wild ride. That is for sure. Yeah, and I just, I, I don't know, I feel a lot more, like, grounded about things than 14-year-old me. So that's good. I feel like, maybe by 20, maybe by 20, I'd be more confident. So that's good. Hi, Raspberry. How you doing? Reboot, sis. I am talking about this romance. Dude, like, I swear, all my friends, all my friends, I need to tell this, I need to tell this to Northern, actually. Like, I need to tell Northern what's going on. So, like, like, what I've learned, I need to share because it would be applicable to her situation. Um, but yeah. What about all the homies? Well, the thing is, they... Homies are great, but also I do want to experience romance a little bit more because my experience with romance previously <coughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Any. <laughs> it was horrible. It was wretched, as you could say. I don't know. It all it all stems back to middle school. <laughs> My middle school. Oh my gosh. And I've told this story several times. Not in full detail because I don't want to go into the trauma that was there. Um. Roman's a difficult man. Roman. Romance? Oh! Romance? Romance or Roman? Romance is- romance is great. <laughs> romance is great, Nico. I don't know what- I, I don't know what you mean by that, but- <laughs> Romance- yeah, it's difficult. But listen, trial and error! Trial and error, you know? Like, I learned some stuff. You know, if I get my heart- <laughs> listen. Oh my god. No, the stream the, the the breakup stream's gonna be wild. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Me talking about so no guys. <laughs> Me in tears and shambles crying like five months later <laughs> saying guys we broke up. Not that we're even together, but I don't know. I feel like things could happen. But yeah, romance is difficult, but it's kind of neat, you know? It gives you more options in a friendship, which is something I need. And by more options, I mean like hugging and like potentially kissing. Because that's all I really want. <clears throat> and really need. Or like cuddles too. Cuddles are nice. You see, I would love to have that. And that's just like not something that always comes on the table of friendship. Like with a friend, personally, I would not kiss a friend. Not me. I would I would say we have to like be romantic to get to that level. You know? Even French kiss is kind of weird, but uh, cuddles, cuddles could go either way. Um, I've only cuddled once with a friend. It's nice, but I just feel like there's such a deeper level there with romance, and that's just kind of what you're promising to each other. So it is a type of friendship, but um, it's also kind of just like a promise that uh, we're gonna be deep with each other and. Hopefully this will work out well. It's kind of like a best friend, you know? You're just saying that uh, you've achieved another level of friendship. Because friendship is magic, guys. <laughs> it all leads back to my little pony. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's okay. Um, no, because I'm falling for one of my headmates, their partner, Alter from her partner sis, and he's Bono and I'm Polly. Ooh. Oof. That's rough. Like, straight up? Cause we- uh... Yeah, but like, he's kind and pretty. Okay, but that one, uh... I will just say, I have experience with like... If they're mono... Like, some people genuinely just want one partner, and it's kind of, it's a bit intrusive to be like... I'm just stating the other perspective here, um, not trying to diss you. Um... But yeah, some people just want one partner, and that's- that's their deal, so... Like, he- if he's mono, the, it, there's no chance, and you're probably gonna have to get over that, unless... I mean, you could bring it up, you know? Like... You know, how... He's feeling about that, but like... Ultimately, if he just wants what part, you, you gotta leave it at that.
system he did jokingly go he could turn me golly not knowing that you were already yeah i mean that could obviously be homies but um you'll have to see like if it's like mono because i've never tried anything else then the, you know that's like okay like, that's still, like, you can try, but uh, if it's, like, mono because that's what I like and I know what I like, then I, w I would not try. I would just respect that. I like that he and his boyfriend have both said they would date me for my looks and birth. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm confused. Like... Okay. No. I would not start with flirting. I would first ask them why. Why that is. <laughs> uh, except maybe not in like the awkward set like don't be awkward about it um <laughs> you, you know because that the, the first scenario i thought of was very awkward but you got to be kind of like more casual about it um otherwise your feelings are going to be too easily picked up on and you might get a little hurt but um i would not flirt um let me think let me think a th something you could say. Oh! Oh! Okay! I, I, okay! 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 It, I, this is actually kind of flirtatious. But what you could rebuttal with. What you could rebuttal with. Is. So you date me for my looks and personality. You just kind of repeat it back. But like as a question. So it's, it's so it's, it's so it's more of a it, it could still be interpreted as a joke in a friend context but it could also be interpreted as a romantic context I did and he nervously giggle oh my god <laughs> okay uh, knowing that I would say he probably has feelings for you but doesn't know what to do about that. Like, I... I mean, he did post a pic he took well for it. With I, whoa, yeah. Anyone think you dare? Yeah, that that's like... If that's not feelings, I don't know what is. I think he has feelings, but, um... That doesn't necessarily mean equate to, like dating and the entire weekend okay well you guys got to talk about it you guys got to talk about it for sure for sure you know get a little out of the silly get a little serious and you know see you know just find something that's comfortable that's good though I'm gonna see him tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll have to think a little bit about what you could say. Um But yeah. Mm. I think that's pretty obvious. He's also Man. Wait, just he think and he definitely knew you were fronting when he was flirting. Wait, so let me get the let me get this straight. So Alter is dating Alter in that system. But you're another Alter that also likes that Alter in that system. Right?
Wild. <laughs> Wild. That man is not mono. <laughs> I mean, actually... I only say that in a joking sis because... Well, actually, kind of joking, kind of not. Like... Because he could, like... Being mono and poly, like, just because you have a crush on someone else while you're dating someone else doesn't necessarily equate. But it is a sign. Um... Yeah. That's suspicious. I, I, I definitely- that's very direct flirting. Um... Just blunt. <laughs> just just blunt i know some people like just now you saying dead sir he's got god you can't yeah anyways <laughs> guys why have we been talking so much about crushes on this channel this is actually crazy this is actually <laughs> Everybody, what is happening? What is happening? Like, I'm actually losing my mind. Because I, no, but you're not the only one. I've gotten several DMs about like people. First, it was Ren. Uh, then it was well, actually, maybe not first. It was Ren. First, it was Booberries. Then it was Ren. Then it was like. Northern. Then it was like, I think some other person, and now it's you. And I'm just like, <laughs> we fell so fuck out with me just now. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm pretty solid on that. I'm pretty solid on saying like you can be pretty confident that it's reciprocated. Um, you just have to worry about the boundaries now. And like what they want to come out of it. <laughs> Shaking, crying, throwing up. It happens, guys. It happens. Guess what I'm doing? Guess what I'm doing, guys? Oh, guys, we put our Minecraft beds together. <laughs> true romance. Oh, true romance, guys. Am I right? <laughs> And we're gonna play Minecraft at like seven. And it's um it's like almost six right now. <laughs> Just got about um 20-ish minutes. Minecraft beds together. <laughs> no, but dude, it was crazy. At the lunch table, I asked this person about their past relationships. And you know what they told me? They told me they dated someone just like me. <laughs> I was like, what in the godsend? <laughs> like that's some that's some that's some fortune cookie religious type <laughs> scenario coincidence, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I was just sitting there at the <laughs> lunch table as 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 literally me was being described, except um except I was better in my opinion, in my <laughs> oh so humble opinion, I was better than that uh person person even though it wasn't described very well. I was like, "Well, you know, I can fix that. I am different. <laughs> but yeah, it also led to like, oh gosh, I remind you of them, don't I? So, you know, slow and steady wins the race, as they say. Yeah. It was wild. It was wild. Actually, why I have not told them what my Twitch is because I I talk about them all the time. <laughs> they would immediately clock me if they haven't already. 
Because I've been very direct about my feelings and stuff. Anyways, how's our day going? Other than, like crushes as far as romance is concerned we're putting it beside we're putting the romance aside okay <clears throat> not somebody commenting dead server i'm actually gonna eat them like <laughs> i hate people that's one of my pet peeves like, I won't kick you for saying dead server, but also, the nerve. <laughs> you don't say- guys, don't say dead server. Don't do that. I- I used to do that as like a- as like a haha -ha funny joke. Uh, but so- but this person is asking it as a question. And like, just keeps commenting about it, and I'm just like... Sir. SIR! <laughs> I'm trying my best out here! Actually, that server's not even dead, which is so funny because I've just been in like a private chat Like using it for different like bot commands and things <laughs> So technically it's still alive, you know You just don't see it <laughs> Me me count it and hold up hold up guys. I've got the perfect response Watch me Live server? Question mark? <laughs> I'm just gonna say the opposite. A live server? Guys, you, you go there to watch my Twitch. You don't go there to um, watch anything else. Hey, but you know, Raspberry, you were able to make a stream. You know? So that's always good. Oh, he's swaggy. Yeah, other things going on in my life. My academics, pretty banger. Um, still pretty banger. I mean, one of them did slip down to B, but it was only because um, this is actually my teacher's fault. Um, I'm pretty sure. Like, we had this vocab thing to do, which was a ridiculous amount of vocab, and he did not give us enough time to fulfill it out. Um... But we were supposed to turn that in on Friday, except he didn't make an assignment for us to turn it in. So, yeah. He didn't give us enough time and he just, yeah, just didn't even make the assignment. And then he finally made the assignment and then when he made the assignment, he gave me a zero and I was... When I say I was salty, <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. The shenanigans. I'll bring it up to him if it's still zero because honestly, ugh. That class is... As much as I love psychology, the teacher's not it. I'm not enjoying the teacher. Not a vibe. But yeah, um, we played Minecraft. This guy was in the default skin. We found, you know how many diamonds we found in this one cave? You think like, you think like 20? It was first 20. It was first like about 20. And then it was, and then it was 30. And then we, and then, you know, for good measure, Got a little more. We got to 40. And for even more good measure, you know. Because I kept exploring. We got to 50. And by the end of it, we had just short of a stack. 63 diamonds from that one cave. And that was crazy. That was crazy. Also, like, um, if you guys don't know, uh, there's like, uh, Microsoft, or, what, what, what's Minecraft called? What's, what's, oh, no, not, my, not Microsoft, Mojang, Mojang. Mojang was having an issue with their website the other day. Um, and this man, uh, like, hadn't even gotten Minecraft yet. Like, he'd been, like, they've been procrastinating getting Minecraft. 
for a while until you know obviously i convinced like go buy this sucker so this whole time it was just kind of this awkward tension of them troubleshooting and me being like so how's it going <laughs> yeah um i was trying to help the best i could but um you know not really much i can do when mojang is having a seizure you know so yeah that was the whole deal it, it's yeah i'm but somehow we were able to play together so destiny fate said hey i'll give you homies a hand <laughs> yeah it was just it was like it was like a long drum roll though to get to that point but it was all good and then, yeah we just played minecraft we built a little house um put our beds together it was great it was great i've been talking to my teacher about it actually i debated whether i would tell another one of my teachers because currently two of my teachers know like not really specifics but i feel like teachers are more trustworthy than students when it comes to that and also teachers usually notice more than students i've heard so i'm more confident like telling them than anybody else in the school so yeah i've kind of mentioned it like i i brought it up to my math teacher because it's just been a crazy wild way this whole thing um but then i um Oh yeah, and then I just, I, I pretty much just told my my English teacher, you know, she's cool. I mean, actually, they both still don't know who exactly, but they could really get, like, my English teacher could base guess off of context clues, like, really, really easily, because I showed, like, a drawing of what this person looks like. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's accurate. Um... However, my math teacher, maybe not so much, but I feel like it's still a possibility. But anyways, they are like, you know, they just kind of in the natural flow traffic of things. Those are like the people that I tell, I guess, or kind of, sort of. But yeah, I debated it. I debated it. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I don't know how that's all gonna go down, but yeah, it's just been on my mind. Sorry about the late stream. You know how it is. You know how it is. Also, if it's getting a bit late, guys, uh, there's always the VOD. Always the VOD. Hmm. But yes, as far as stream, we got Power Wash. That's a new thing. Been playing some of it. Been considering restarting subnautica i'm just um i pulled up steam to get a little bit of different kind of conversation flowing because i've got an hour to kill before i go do a thing with a friend um which is just play more minecraft but yeah um got stardew which we do need to do a bit more because we were we were also working on the romance department there, which was... Maybe, guys. Guys, it was all a setup. The Stardew streams, they were a setup. They were a setup for the future. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> okay, anyways. Yeah, but no, I had a little bit of romance going on there. Or just like friend making even. I was trying to see what the cutscenes were and stuff. See if there's any benefits to marrying them. Just like testing that all out. Because it's kind of fun. To, you know, make friends. Uh, see the scenes and do all the stuff. But yeah. Um, it's not like a real partner, you know. It's just fictional, so it doesn't really matter. Um... Yeah, so, Slime Rancher, I 
could also restart Slime Rancher at some point. Like, that might be an okay idea. I do like the idea of s starting over Subnautica a bit better because, like, there's parts that I won't remember. Uh, more likely. Because, like, Slime Rancher, yeah, there's storyline. But I don't know if I'd really follow with it. Like, the first playthrough, I definitely did not follow through it. Maybe the next playthrough could be where I actually followed through with it. But, um... I know, like... Subnautica, I kind of followed with the storyline. I was trying my best. But the thing about Subnautica is the story... The story actually works against me and how, like, I read and learn things personally um, and get them retained in my head. It's because it's not consistent enough that we're getting story bits and, you, and the process to get to the next story bit. Whew. Yeah, it's um, it takes a while to get to there and all that jazz. It'd be nice if Subnautica was multiplayer also. That, that is just a thing that they should definitely add. Um, I don't know if they're gonna make another one. It'd be cool. I'd buy. But honestly, I, I just want them to update it, if anything. You know, you don't have to make a whole new game. Um, although this is kind of one where like, it's a story game. Like, yes, there's exploration, but the resources resources are actually finite. Which means there's not an infinite amount unless there's an update. That's when they kind of like restock and you get all the resources and stuff back. But otherwise, you just have to keep pushing and pushing deeper deeper to get more resources and mind you there's a lot of resources but they don't all replenish is the thing here unless there's an update obviously obviously or uh you know you start a new world you know because that's also another thing you can do but yeah Yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I think it'd be really cool to um, do that. And also we definitely need to have a movie night. Um, that needs to happen. I've been thinking about it. I'm not really thinking about it cause I kind of had other things on my mind. My life's gotten a little bit busy, uh, as I've said, but yeah. You know, it makes me a little bit more interesting. I did want more things to happen in my life, so I would have stuff to talk on, about on here. So, that's good for me. You know, makes me a little bit more entertaining to have things going on, inconveniences. Even if it is a bit inconvenient for the viewers, I'm sure it'll bring like a plethora of other people who've maybe got more time on their hands or something like that. Um... Yeah, I think maybe a good time to do a little snack break. Uh, cause I did, I did eat some dinner, but I wasn't that hungry, so I didn't eat that much. Um, but now the hunger is settling in, so I do feel the need to go grab a snack. So I will leave you guys with some garlic on stream. Or no, actually I'm leaving you with words on stream. Sorry. All right. Okay, got it. Hold up. Okay, it's loading. You can also scan the code to start, although my thing is in dark mode, so it might not work, but... Y'all can have fun. 
Let me pull up the tab for you. Hmm. Play. Type to play. Like Scrabble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Additionally, getting a snack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me just make sure it's on auto. And there you guys go. I'll be back.
Okay. Well, um. All right, guys, I'm back. Hope you guys didn't get an ad. Um, nope, you've got Animal Crossing for several minutes. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Um, let's try the Nintendo one, the Nintendo chill. It's still giving me ads. Ads can indicate if um, something's copyrighted. Just by the way, because I, I didn't know that. Um. <laughs> but yeah, I'm back. I got my snacks. Um, let me just exit this. Yeah, we got our snacks. We got some honey bunches with almonds in them. It came like that. And then we got a Gatorade, a white cherry Gatorade. Um, the, or Glacier Cherry, as it says, the Gatorade Frost. One of those. Excuse me as I show off. <laughs> my abilities <laughs> yeah but um it's cool it's cool you know <sighs> get a red frost it tastes good when it's fresh i did not really how much more vibrant it was because usually when I get a Gatorade or like any drink that's not water, I don't immediately drink it. Like it's just this habit that I have because like water. Yeah, I immediately drink it. Like as soon as I get it, I drink it. But if it's any other drink, I don't immediately drink it because my brain's my brain's kind of got to process for a moment if I want to actually drink that because like with anything else except water, I'm just like, water's essential for living, but this is not essential for living, you know? Even though it, it you know, has water in it and stuff. I've just got to think a little bit. My undershirt, by the way. It's cool. It's a, it's a cool design. I've started... I used to not wear undershirts, but I've started one because it looks cool and uh, two just because it's more comfortable. Like, cause when you get a texture like that, this isn't like horrid texture. Like I can deal with it. This is actually pretty nice. However, it does get a bit like kind of scratchy on the skin. Like this is probably what a dog experiences. Like I feel like my hair is being like messed with, you know? And so it kind of like slowly does that on my arms. Um, but you know, that's not the worst, you know? It's also kind of like being pet, like how I pet my dog, but that's just how I imagine my dog feels when I do like this to their fur. Um, yeah. That's what it feels like. Anyways, not that anybody would know but when it's been described how a dog feels like they just feel uncomfortable when you go against the natural direction of their fur that's how i imagine i feel a little bit like and i mean these are like made of animals so i mean not necessarily i don't know where like some of them are made. I know like silk is like... Well, there's spider silk. Which I don't know what... I don't know if we use that. I don't feel like we do. But it's um... Dude, nature's crazy actually. Because like... We do all these things. We do all these things in society, but then you look at nature and you're like, hey, they do that too. You know? That's crazy. Like, we knit. 
and spiders knit. Like, that's probably where people got the idea, let's be honest, but... It's crazy how much, like, just being in nature influences. And then additionally, nature was the first influencer of our time, of course. Um, but then we have other people's ideas now. So it's even easier for us to brainstorm. Like, you can come up with a banger idea really easily. Also, now there's, like... Also, you have friends that you can ask. So many ways. So many ways. I'm like, maybe it won't be the best idea. You know, that takes a little bit of crafting, but... You can get there. Much easier. And it's really nice. With like randomizers. You just gotta find a way that works for you, though. Nah. Also, you gotta go to college, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying this, um cereal i had to throw out the milk because it was expired though which is unfortunate because that keeps happening dude like i will sit there you know i'll finally get a bowl of cereal after like a while of thinking about getting cereal but not getting it it's always the day I want cereal, the day we don't have milk, I swear. Or like it's expired or something. It's ridiculous, but yeah. It's just, it keeps happening to me. Mind you, I do eat a lot of cereal, though. Like, I get my dosage of cereal at, like, school. That's why I don't eat a lot of cereal, because I'm getting it throughout the week. Not every day. Like, I only get cereal when, like, there's not an appetizing food for the breakfast at our school. Because that's, like, the equivalent of a pizza. They serve it every day. They may not have... They usually have, like, all the flavors and... Like, they, they have, like, a bunch of different types of cereals. Um, but one time they didn't have Cheerios. And so I had to get something else. But that was also fine. Because they had Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I do love me some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. If I had to beg for anything, it would be chocolate syrup. Because that's a common thing people like. But, you know, it's also a bit extra. You could just go with chocolate milk, get kind of the same effect. Although, I don't know. It's really wacky. I'm not really a fan of... Like, don't get me wrong. I do like chocolate milk. Let me be clear. But, like, it's just one of those drinks that I would have, like... Every once in a while. Or, like, if I had to drink it, I would. Kind of situation. One of those variety drinks. Oh, dude, I had hot chocolate last week. That was... Well, not last, last week. Was it this week? Hold up. Well, sometime, anyways. There was this girl. Um, and I used to... I think I told you guys about this at the time. But some of you may not remember, I had this French food project, which I think I worked on for a stream as like a homework stream. Because sometimes streaming motivates me to like get my work done because, you know, there's like people holding me accountable. There's just a pressure and if I make it a stream, then it makes it a little more fun to do anyways. Because I also have the option to, like, talk during it or commentate. 
say my thought process um ask you guys for ideas um yeah it's cool like that so i do those like once in a millennia i don't usually need to do them i guess you could sit could consider the duolingo stream like that as well but yeah my point is i got a cup of hot chocolate for my french class and then it was like mm, i don't know i feel like these were a close time period between when these events happened but I also, I got this delicious French food um, from my teacher because, you know, they have the French food project, but like people will bring it into the classroom to like preserve it or like show the teacher or to just get it out of their hands. Um, and yeah, I commented saying that I liked the food that, you know, she had made. I thought it looked really good and, you know, and so she just gave me one. It's like, you want one? And I was like, yeah, of course I do. Yeah. I felt kind of bossing. And I, and I wasn't trying to pressure her, but. Like, I just, I don't know. I was feeling nice and also a little hungry. So I figured, shoot my shot, you know? But, you know, lunch was gonna be soon. No. It was fine. But it was nice. It was nice. I liked it. I wanted- I immediately wanted to grab another after I had that one. Because it was good. It was like this square with like... Not... Like I want to say sugar, but I'm really not sure. I think powder is more accurate. Some kind of powder was on it. And um... Just like a little square. It kind of reminds me of like... Ravioli. Like some type of noodle that goes like, like there's, there's the thick part and then there's like these flat parts hanging out, you know? And of course it's, uh, like all the contents are like, not like a macaroon, but I guess it's the, oh, what, what would be like a circular thing that has like things inside of it? I guess a cookie is the closest you could get. Except it's more like a shell. Of dough that covers it. Yeah. Anyways, it was good. I did enjoy it. 10 out of 10. Thank you, random girl, for giving me that. That was very um, banger of you. It made my day, honestly. And I probably made hers, so, you know, good exchanges. It would have made my day, honestly, just to give her a compliment, too, but. Like, I was just feeling nice. But, you know. I just do nice things for people on occasion. So, sometimes they're strangers. A lot of times they're people that I know. Because. Like obviously people that I know are more deserving of that. Considering. What all they've done for me. It doesn't have to be like. Anything big. It could just be like. Providing me with. Less boredom like. Making sure I'm having fun. Giving me a good time. I guess you could say. But yeah, that's just kind of how it rolls. Yeah, I was looking through my streaming videos the other day. Because I needed to upload. 
Actually, I didn't need to upload. I had a few more days, but I figured let's get on it early because I did miss a week at one point. <laughs> like recently. <laughs> I could say it was a month ago, but it was in November, sometime in November, which I missed a few. But you know, you win some, you lose some. We have the streams that we have. Which is cool. Well, that's cool. Pretty banger. But yeah, how are you, chat? How are we doing? Who's lurking? Who's watching? Who's with us in this room? I feel like I should be uh, using one of those. You guys are kind of like ghosts in a way. There's like a ghost detector thing that you speak in. Spirit box or whatever. <laughs> and like obviously as far as ghosts go, you know, they're like, they probably, it's not like, like spirits, obviously I could, I could see being real, but, um, just like ghosts, I don't know. I mean, they're kind of the same. They're very similar, very similar concept, except one's more uh it could be interpreted religiously or like one has a little bit of a, a a deeper kind of sense to it whereas ghost is like unfinished business and spirits are like they do all kinds of crazy stuff you know they're mentioned throughout history as something that exists <laughs> You know, whether it's through, like, the Holy Spirit or whatever. But ghosts are technically spirits, so, you know, they cross. But yeah, anyways, you guys remind me of kind of, like, ghosts because you're, like, you're here, but you're also not here. You know? It's such a funny concept. Like, that's what social media is. You're here, but you're not. I can't see you, but I can hear you. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Who we? I'm just trying to... Right now, I'm trying to think about what I want to do next. Because I've still got till 7? But I don't really know what I want to do. I think I may, I don't know. I went over some fun stuff. We had some fun topics. Not my usual streaming time. So a few of our regulars were not here today. But you know what? It's okay. That's all right. Sorry, regulars. We went a bit off of schedule, but you can watch the VOD. I hope you enjoyed it if you got all the way to this part. And I think I may go do a little bit just for myself. So I have a little bit of a social recharge period before seven. And so I'm focusing on it because like if I get caught up in stream, then I might not want to end the stream. So yeah. No, I, th I think it's good. Anyways, I'll see ya. See you guys. See you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. It was nice hanging out with some of you. Notable mentions, Raspberry. But, yeah. I, I still am very excited to hit 500, so. I will try to be more consistent, guys. 
but sometimes things just do happen. My mind be going zoom all over the place and I forget. Especially since I'm grounded, but since I don't have all my reminders and stuff, but yeah. Bye! Today's gonna be a good night. And I'll maybe tell you about it. Except you'll have to wait till Saturday for that. Unless I just, uh, unless I cave in and make a makeup stream, but you know, likely just gonna be for myself since it's not a day I'm required. But you know, you'll see her on Saturday and Sunday, so we're all good. Right, bye. Be sure to um, subscribe, possibly. Follow other socials, possibly. You know, just whatever. Whatever you feel like doing to support. Um, go ahead and do that. And, you know, hit the follow. If you want to see more. I'm trying to see if I could raid someone. Mm, I don't have anyone to raid. I don't usually stream at this time, so that's... Not a regular. I don't usually watch people stream at this time. Like, this is not peak streaming time. Usually I'm in the night, you know, because... Not necessarily in the night, in the night, but like... Around 7, usually. It's when I would personally watch a streamer. Although I've been way out of the loop, honestly. My life's just been... Something else, I guess. Yeah, bye. You doing the? <laughs> okay. <laughs>